here comes the St. Louis County Police Department. It looks like one of those night cam things from the cop show. We have now pulled back. Or Call of Duty. Yeah. City block oh, what's that other one? Splinter Cell. Hey. It's uh, pretty close for fireworks. I hope we're supposed to go on the sky, silly guys. Yeah, not on the ground. Oh, there's Whoa. shit. They're throwing them. They're firing rubber bullets. Almost as if they're aiming for people. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. Oh, yeah, yeah, you want to throw that one back, you missed. That looks scary. It looks smoky. Yeah. Looks like my bedroom. My hands are up, bro. My hands are up. That guy looks like he didn't get enough donuts and he's upset. Well, he usually puts it at the end of the gun, which is why he's used to that. I'm working on it. Stop videotaping. Let's grab our stuff and go. Hurry up. Let's go. Please don't make go to me. Let's go. The cow says moo. The cop says let's go. Yeah, it's like that song about a fox. Yeah. Yeah. Except it makes even less sense. Pretty much. Because he's telling reporters not to report. I think they're just really happy to use their toys. And play loud squeaky noises. And left and went to another area, but uh, people can see Oh, looks like a normal night in Flint, here. Michigan. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Bobby. It, right, there's got to be somebody important who's made a speech over this. Yeah, the uh, governor of Missouri, uh, he had some, something to say. Do right you want to watch it? Yeah, like sure. Okay. Of, uh, an electronics, no clothing store looks like that. Mr. Gorbachev. The only thing we have to say was a little cocker spaniel dog. A police officer shot and killed Michael Brown in broad daylight. Since then, the world has watched a community become engulfed in grief, anger, fear, at times, violence. For a family mourning the loss of a son, it has been a profound personal tragedy. For Ferguson and our entire nation, it has ripped open old wounds that have festered for generations. That's why you're not supposed to pick at Difficult scabs. issues that communities across our country must still resolve. But amid all the pain, distrust, and anger, and militarized police, we've also seen tremendous acts of grace, courage, and kindness. And tear as guessing. the people of Ferguson try to maintain peace while they call for justice for the family of Michael Brown. In Ferguson, people of all races and creeds are joining hands and praying for justice. Teenagers cooking meals for law enforcement officers. Well, if they cook better, leaders maybe they would be shot. Courage and heroism throughout the night in standing against armed and violent instigators. Oh, yeah, those police are just out of control. Out to pick up littered neighborhoods. They are the faces of Ferguson. They are the faces of this region. They are the faces and soul of Missouri. Which is why we put them in jail. For them, for the family yeah. of Michael Brown, for all the parents who have had their sons taken from them much too soon, and for all the children dreaming of a brighter and better future, we have a responsibility to show them how the real world is and do everything we can to achieve justice for this family, peace for this community, and have the courage to address the problems that have divided us for too long real problems of poverty, education, and race. And militarized so police how do we forces. Do that? First, we must protect the people of Ferguson. Uh, by pissing the them off more? The officers of Missouri Highway Patrol, St. Louis County, and St. Louis City, and other jurisdictions are united in working valiantly to protect the public. By arresting them. At the same time, them. preserving citizens' rights to express their anger peacefully. As long as I do it quietly without interrupting me, week, it's fine. It is not an easy balance to strike. It's much easier to strike and the protesters. more difficult in the dark of night. That's when they start blending when organized into the background. and increasingly violent instigators take to the streets intent on creating chaos and lawlessness. Like those journalists. But we will not be defeated 
by bricks and guns and Molotov cocktails. Because we've got body armor and With armored the help combat of vehicles demonstrators, to enforce pastors, freedom. Community leaders, Captain Johnson and law enforcement will not give up trying to ensure that those with peace in their hearts Ooh, they should probably get those are pieces not removed. drowned out sounds dangerous. by those with senseless violence in their hands. Second, a vigorous prosecution must now be pursued. Second? The democratically that elected single first. County prosecutor and the attorney general of the United States each have a job to do. Why did that their need obligation to, to be achieve justice emphasized? And the shooting death of Michael Brown must be carried out thoroughly promptly and correctly. We should and strike down upon, upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Like Finally, once we have achieved peace in, in Ferguson oh, yeah, and justice too. for the family of Michael Brown, we must remain committed to rebuilding the trust that's been lost. With duct tape and sticks. Well, well, we only have the sticks. They looted the duct tape. The that is a good point. We've endured. This is hard. This is hard. Nothing about this is simple. I'm a privileged white guy. Why we is this so hard for me? get it right. But we're going to keep trying. Because Ferguson is a test. A test not just for the people of this community, but for all Americans. How is this a test for all of and us? And it's a test we must not fail. Too late. Looks like we're taking summer classes. Last week I met with and prayed with the mother of Michael Brown. And God said no to a resurrection. She's lost a son who she can never bring back. God only allows his own but son to come back. But what we can back. do is work Nobody together else's. to ensure that Michael Brown's death is not remembered as a tragedy that sparked a cycle of violence and distrust. That's why I have my men in black stick right here. Of a process of healing and reconciliation. And the end of overzealous police forces. So I ask that we forces. continue to stand together as we work to achieve justice for Michael Brown Restore hope and peace to the streets of Ferguson. We should fill in the potholes all around that topic. Together toward a future of greater opportunity for all of us. As long as you're a white police officer. He seems to be overemphasizing the looting problem and underemphasizing the bigger problem of an armed and zealous police. Yeah, he had a similar speech at another press conference. Let's see how it flies with the live audience here. And get this universal you know, like officials work. and faith leaders here with us for their work over the past week uh, on behalf of the family of Michael Brown, the people of Ferguson, yeah. the entire St. Louis region. It's that new iPhone the magic. shooting death of Michael Brown one week ago today, and the events that followed left a family grieving the loss of a son, a community wracked by fear and unrest, and an entire world looking for answers and justice. ISIS is fighting the because they want days, answers, of course. I've heard from the people of Ferguson. I've heard their anger about injustice and intimidation. I've seen and heard the unspeakable sadness of a mother who won't see her son again. Yeah, thanks for bringing that back up. Of parents throughout the region struggling to teach their kids to trust among so much strife. I've learned that handing like out open world, Halloween candy doesn't build trust, though. Seen over the past few days, At least not with the parents. Tremendous acts of grace, generosity, and courage. And suppression. People of all races and creeds. Well, people of the American race, anyway. Justice, and the American Michael creed. Brown. Yes. And, just and last even night, the assassin's the creed. courage and resolve of peaceful protesters who stood up against violent instigators. Volunteers coming out, coming forward, even in this morning's steady rain, to help their neighbors pick up the pieces. As governor, I'm committed to making sure the forces of peace and justice prevail. Which is why I'm sending why in an overbearing police force to do the protests about an overbearing police force. Investigation of the shooting death of Michael Brown, an investigation I'm glad to say is being beefed up with additional FBI agents canvassing this area over the next several days. I want to personally thank General Holder. We had a good, thoughtful discussion yesterday, and I appreciate deeply uh, his leadership and support. And that is why two days ago, as we saw escalation and the need change and shift. I put the Missouri State Highway Patrol in charge of maintaining safety and security in Ferguson. So I'm sending in more of the same people that Captain are keeping Ron the Johnson peace from happening to keep For his peace. outstanding leadership and helping bring calm to the streets of Ferguson while maintaining the rights of its citizens to engage in peaceful protests. That balance logic. is important. The First Amendment is extremely better, important. American the action times like this 
people be able to speak their concerns is vitally important. As long as they as don't try to shake up the standing social order, progress. it's all right. On Thursday night, peaceful protesters of all ages, races, and creeds here in Ferguson and in cities and towns across the nation. We're tear gassed. Horrifically. Separate cities called in one united voice for justice to be served. And last night, except for a very few, the folks out in the streets of Ferguson last night were peaceful demonstrators. But we also saw a pattern develop last night where after hours of peaceful protesting, small groups took to the streets with the intent of committing crimes and endangering citizens. And we call them Ferguson City Police unacceptable. Officers. unacceptable. Each step of the way this week, I've been in touch with these local leaders. And they've been I giving me the once finger. again with them to discuss the best course forward. I like I share their to frustration speak and their conviction that we cannot allow the ill will of the few to undermine the goodwill of the many. Yeah, those liberal reporters and must to put be the stopped. People and businesses of this community in danger. If there was an easy way to separate those who hurt from those who helped, we could use a density column. We would. But it's hard. And sometimes, especially at night, we can't. So to protect the people and property of Ferguson today, I signed an order declaring a state of emergency and ordering the implementation of a curfew. I listened to what the protesters want, and what they want the is more power for the cops. Again, this is not to silence the people of Ferguson or this region. <laughs> this is not a suspicious denial of any sort. But to contain those who are drowning out the voice of the people with their actions. We will not allow a handful of looters to endanger the rest of this community. Which is why we punish the city we as a whole. We still need more answers about what happened one week ago at Campfield Green. Well, Mewtwo escaped from Cinnabar Island and Red became the league champ. Transparency and accountability and expediency. I will tell you there's a lot of people working on that right now. A lot of people. But if we're going to achieve justice, we must first have and maintain peace. By show of this force. This is a test. Of the emergency alert system. The eyes of the world are watching. This is a test of whether a community will end up in detention. This community, any community, can break the cycle of fear, distrust, and violence. Caused by militarized police them officers. With peace, strength, and ultimately justice. It will not happen in one night. But that is where we will start. So tonight, let that journey continue. And in the morning, this community well, thanks will for rise the beer, the random man. to <laughs> he does a good job. its quest for justice. Now, to go through a couple of the operational choices, then we'll hear from a couple of officials. This challenging time, it is nice to have veterans of law enforcement. Veterans? In is Ferguson an entire tour of duty now? Excuse me, Governor, you need to charge that police with murder. That will bring people yeah. in. Uh, Ma'am, the governor can't just arbitrarily charge a person with murder. At, at least not and haven't mean anything. Wait, that comment was in my script. Time for my state level politician superpowers to kick in. The task that we have at hand. Which was the task, the task which I have was has a task or task, task lead. Task. Is the task first of all to represent the people of the state and the people of this area. Which is a task, yes. But also to make sure that we have peace and security. And tasks. Let us go through the decisions that have been made and the implementation of that. And in order to begin that process, then we'll hear from officials and we'll be glad to take questions. But only the ones um, I'm expecting. Yeah, he doesn't seem to, to really grasp why people are angry. Yeah, he Colonel sure Bond does. Huh? Well, that was interesting. Let's last up a unicorn and go fishing. <laughs>